Hi. Today we will know how to determine the acceleration due to gravity using a simple pendulum. The rule t equal 2 pi root L over G. So by squaring the two sides, t square equal 4 pi square L over G. Therefore, t square over L equal 4 pi square over G. And this is the slope of the graph you will draw when you plot the relation between L on x-axis and t square on y-axis. So g equal 4 pi square L over t square. The graph. This is how it would look like when you plot it correctly. Happy plotting. Enjoy. Now we will learn how to determine it practically. First of all, we have to consider some precautions during our work. First, the body can't rotate or the pot can't rotate like this. It has to be in only one plane. So, be careful on doing this. Then, we will use the stopwatch to record the time. The second thing that we need to consider also that the angle of the oscillation can't exceed the 15 degrees to, do, to get perfect results. So, as much as you can, don't do this. This is a very wide angle. It has to be a short one. Okay? After moving the body, let it swing for one or two times, then start recording the time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Here is the time. It's about thirty two seconds. We need to measure the distance between the point at which the pendulum is hanging to the center of the mass of the pot. So we will use another ruler, then we can repeat this again with different lenses. As much as the length increases, T square also will increase. Let's repeat it again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. As you can see, when we increased the length, 
the time also increased. So t square also will increase. Be careful, we need to divide the time taken to make these 20 oscillations over their number to determine the t square of the central value. At least you need to take these readings for 5 times to make 5 points on the graph so you can plot as much as you can a straight line to represent the relation between L on x-axis to t or t square on y-axis. So the slope of the line will be t square over L. We need to reverse it again to find the reciprocal so we can substitute it in the relation that we discussed earlier. Thank you. To simply use the stopwatch, here are the two main buttons. This one for start and pause and this one for reset. Start, pause, reset. Start, pause, reset. 